the, the planet is changing, uh, and probably everybody will agree to that. Uh, th there's a couple of questions that, that we still need to answer. Question number one, uh, the, the why. What is changing? We understand it's changing. What is changing? Question number two, how fast is changing? And question number three, what part of that change is due to uh, us human interaction? You know, in other words, how much of that change we are creating versus is created by nature itself? So, so those are three of the questions that we're trying to answer. And what we're trying to do uh, is, as we collect this data uh, that this satellite bring to us, uh, we are creating models that that uh, are trying to predict. It's similar to what we do with uh, the weather, the regular weather, uh, uh, where we can tell, you know, uh, we're going to have a thunderstorm tomorrow. That is done because of the models that we have and the data that we collect, we plug into the models and we'll give those predictions. So we're trying to do the same with all the other uh, areas within the Earth. Uh, why we have a drought or why we have uh, floods in, in different parts of the country and so on. Uh, that's a kind of information that we need actually and we want to capture so we can actually have a more productive life here on the planet. Well, in the works we have uh, uh, what we call a follow-on to ISAT. Uh, we call it ISAT-2. <laughs> and again, ISAT-2 will, will be measuring the, uh, the rate uh, of the ice uh, uh, melting. Uh, uh, we have Aquarius, which uh, is going to be measuring the salinity of the ocean. By the way, the Aquarius launching uh, in 2011, ISAT-2 launching in 2014. Uh, I mentioned before GPM of the Global, Pre uh, Global Precipitation Measurement Mission. That is going to measure the rainfall across the globe. That is going to be launched in 2013. Uh, we have uh, Landsat, and Landsat is going to allow us to take pictures of, of, of the Earth, and we're going to use that for multiple things, uh, for fires. You know, when we have fires, especially in California, you know, so we will be able to get data provide that data to the uh, first responders so they can move their uh, resources. Uh, but also is going to look at issues related to droughts and floods because we'll, we'll be able to, to take that. And LATS is going to be launched in 2014.